Yeah, this meeting was held this morning, a, a rare meeting, it has to be said, in which uh, the foreign ministers of ASEAN Southeast Asian regional bloc came together to discuss an issue which uh, I think many of them consider to be a domestic issue uh, to Myanmar and generally uh, this body ASEAN only considers issues which uh, relate to all of them but it was held uh, at the urging of Malaysia and Indonesia two countries which have of course large Muslim populations. Aung San Suu Kyi addressed the meeting this morning. It has to be said she gave very little way in terms of uh, moving on from her existing p positions and statements about uh, Rakhine State. She's told the, the, the other foreign ministers the situation was very complex. She asked them to give her uh, more time and space uh, to attempt to, to deliver on, on greater stability for the area. And on the question of uh, humanitarian aid and access to this part of northern Rakhine State, it's estimated that about perhaps 100,000 of the Rohingya Muslim minority are without uh, assistance in this part of northern Rakhine State because the military has basically shut it down. Well, there wasn't much to encourage aid agencies there either. Aung San Suu Kyi talking about uh, necessary humanitarian access being allowed uh, into the area rather than the, the free and full and unfettered access which these aid agencies would like to see. So, uh, yes, that meeting was held. Yes, it was uh, very rare and unprecedented in, in some ways. But in terms of how much of, of a difference it will actually make to the Rohingya, well, very hard to see what difference it will make at all, actually. Very briefly, Jonah, just how desperate is the situation for many of those Rohingya? Well, uh, well, it's guesswork, really, for, for most of us to try and work out exactly what is taking place in northern Rakhine State. Because we're not allowed in, independent journalists are not being allowed into that area. Because uh, independent international aid workers are not being allowed in. We're very reliant on the stories of people uh, who fled northern Rakhine State into Bangladesh and also the accounts on social media. So by all those accounts, it's pretty dire and desperate. Uh, but we simply can't get in to verify definitively what exactly the truth is of what's going on at the moment.